And while we have seen the motorcade, we've seen him board, I wanted to bring in another Republican who is joining the presidential race, and he says that Donald Trump should step aside because of all that's going on legally. The latest entrant to the race, he's going to formally announce, he says it towards the end of the month, is former two-term governor of Arkansas, Asa Hutchinson, also a former congressman who served in the George W. Bush administration. So good to talk to you, Governor. Your thoughts as we're watching what can only be described as a spectacle here of the former president heading towards his surrender in New York City. Well, it's a sad day to see uh, this motorcade that's going to an arraignment in New York City. And uh, as an American, as somebody who's a competitor uh, that's in the presidential race, uh, this is not a good thing for America. It's not a good thing for uh, the uh, GOP. And uh, yes, I always believe that the office of presidency is the most important and that uh, you set aside your personal uh, views for the office of the presidency, and this is not good. But he's in, uh, he's going to continue on, and that's his right and prerogative, and nobody can stop that. Uh, so we've got to deal with this, and I hope that we can remove the spectacle part. I'm doubtful that that's going to be the case, but as candidates uh, running for president, we've got to navigate around this and talk about uh, the energy costs. We could talk about border security and fentanyl and the issues that really Americans care about now and are impacted with every day. So we're going to have to compete with this, uh, and it's going to be challenging. And it's only going to get worse if there are possibly other indictments on issues that are, you know, obviously much more serious to most Americans. January 6th, classified documents, possible obstruction of justice is being reported today by The Washington Post. Uh, you have said that he should step aside because of all of the legal, the legal problems that he has yet to yet to face this year. Isn't he innocent until proved guilty? And why should he not be able to run just to play devil's advocate here, just because he is facing these charges? Well, he absolutely is innocent until proven guilty. Absolutely entitled to all the due process. And I've said that if I was a federal prosecutor. Based upon the facts that I know, I would have not taken this case. Uh, but the prosecutor has made that decision. We don't know all the facts yet. But regardless, there's going to be a very long process. As a matter of principle, uh, I've said the office of presidency is more important than any person. And I've had that consistent view uh, while I've been governor for eight years, calling on people very close to me to resign. Uh, once they were indicted. So there's a consistent position there, and you can see the outcome here. Now, the fact is, it's not going to happen. He doesn't have to do it. There's no constitutional requirement, so we're going to have to deal with it. So we need to move on from that and uh, talk about uh, what uh, the voters are really concerned about today. Uh, in Arkansas, in the Midwest, we have tornadoes, uh, but we also have uh, the concern about uh, the inflation, the border, uh, our concerns with China uh, and the competition there and the adversarial relationship that's building. So those are the things that we're going to have to continue to come back with that I think are important for the American voters. Why do you think that you're the only person who has said you're running, who is willing to take a stand against the former president uh, to criticize him and criticize his behaviors, his performance? Uh, not even Mike Pence is willing to really criticize him fully, and his life and the life of his whole family were in jeopardy because of January 6th. Well, it's important that you state your position, and Donald Trump is going to be the defining issue uh, in the 2024 GOP primary. And so if you're running against him or running for that office, you've got to take a clear position. And uh, I've said it. Uh, and uh, I, I will continue to say it, even though that shouldn't be the focus of it. And you want to do it in a way that tries to bring people together in a very divisive time. Uh, there's not an angst against uh, Donald Trump. It's just simply, if you look, the worst thing for America in terms of the body politic would be a uh, campaign between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Uh, and uh, I think that's the only basis the GOP is going to win. We've got to have somebody that can appeal to independents, uh, to suburban voters, 
And I don't believe Donald Trump is that person. And we need to uh, say that very clearly and campaign on that basis. They say they've raised five million dollars just since Friday with the indictment. Uh, he is ginning up so much support from this. Within the Republican primary field, he has enormous support, uh, something like 80 percent support among Republicans in some recent polls. How do you penetrate that? Well, your choice is either to fold and yield to Donald Trump to be the nominee, or you get in there and fight for the vote. And I think that's a better result for the GOP primary and for our country. And that's the decision I've made. I think as time goes on, uh, they're going to see uh, the leadership, the experience, the ability to address the issues and not uh, go into chaos and fighting over the last election is important for our country. So that's uh, my plan. And I think other candidates will fall along that line as time goes on. Uh, so. You've got to make a commitment. You've got to go after it in places like Iowa and New Hampshire, and that's where I'll be. Uh, just one final thing. The, as we see the plane taxing, the Republican National Committee, the chair, has said that every candidate for the Republican nomination will have to take a vow to support the nominee, whoever it is, and if it is Donald Trump. Would you support him if he turns out to be the nominee? Well, I've expressed my view on that. I think the important thing is that we don't have uh, somebody like Trump or anyone else participate in an RNC debate that then goes and runs as a third party candidate. And so that, to me, is the purpose of a pledge. Uh, I'm going to be having more conversations with the RNC on this. Uh, clearly, I don't think uh, party loyalty oaths is something that we ought to be uh, pushing today. Let's have an open primary. Uh, let's make sure we don't support third party candidates and uh, let's give uh, the voters on the Republican side a choice that's very important for uh, 2024 in our future. Governor Asa Hutchinson, I hope you'll come back. Thank you, first of all, for your patience today and I hope you'll come back as we discuss the issues in this campaign, as we have every intention of doing on both sides. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be with you.